Good day! So our lesson for today is about Gauss's law for point charges. Carl Friedrich Gauss is a German mathematician who was responsible for the formulation of the Gauss's law. The Gauss's law states that the total electric flux through any closed surface is proportional to the net electric charge in that surface. The formula for the Gauss's law is given by the electric flux is equal to the closed integral of the electric field multiplied by area. It is also equal to the charge enclosed over the permittivity of space or the epsilon naught. Gauss's law is an important tool since it permits the assessment of the amount of enclosed charge by mapping the field on a surface outside the charge distribution. The Gauss's law is said to be an alternative for the Coulomb's law. For further understanding the Gauss's law, let's proceed to answering problems. Problem number one. The figure shows six point charges that all lie in the same plane, five Gaussian surfaces, namely the S1, S2, S3, S4, and S5, are enclosed part of this plane. The figure shows the intersection of each surface with the plane. The task that we should do here is to rank the surfaces in the order of the most positive to the most negative electric flux. S1 is indicated by the gray shaded surface. There are no charges enclosed in that surface, so the S1 will be equal to 0 microcoulomb. The S2 is now represented by the gray shade. There are three charges enclosed. To find the total electric flux, we are going to add all of these charges. The answer will be 7 microcoulomb. The S3 is now represented by the gray part again. There are three charges enclosed in the surface, so we're going to add them up. The result will be 0 microcoulomb. The same process goes for the fourth surface. There are two charges in this surface, and we're going to add them up again. And the answer will be 1 microcoulomb. For S5, all of the charges used earlier are enclosed, as well as the other four surfaces. To get the total electric flux, we will add all of the charges up, and the resulting electric flux will be 6 microcoulomb. And to answer our task, the most positive surface is S2 with 7 microcoulomb, followed by S5 with 6 microcoulomb, then S4 with 1 microcoulomb, and the most negative is S1 that is tied with S3, and they are equal to 0 microcoulomb. And the problem 2, a point charge, namely Q1 is equal to 4 nanocoulomb and is located on the x-axis at x equals 2 meters. And a second point charge, Q2, is equal to negative 6 nanocoulomb and is located on the y-axis at y is equal to 1 meter. What is the total electric flux due to these point charges through a spherical surface centered at the origin with the following radius? What we should find here is the electric flux due to the charges through a spherical surface centered at the origin with radius A, 0 0.500 meter, B, 1.50 meter, C, 2.50 meters. Given that Q1 is equal to 4 nanocoulomb at x equals 2 meters, and given that Q2 is equal to negative 6 nanocoulomb at y equals 1 meter. The three radius are drawn in the plane. The smallest surface is the 0 0.500 meter. The second one, the second biggest, is the 1.50 meters. And the biggest one is the 2.50 meters. First, 
I'll show the figure drawn earlier since we will need it here. And since we know that the electric flux is equal to the charge enclosed over the permittivity of space, I'm going to put it here as well since we are going to apply this formula for this problem. So for the 0 0.500 meter radius or this smallest circle, you can see that there's no charge enclosed which means that the electric flux for this area is 0 nanocoulomb over epsilon naught. For the second part or the 1.50 meter radius, you can see that the Q2 or the second charge is enclosed which means that the electric flux for this surface will be equal to negative 6 nanocoulomb over epsilon naught. And for the third part or the 2.50 meter, you can see here that Q1 and Q2 is enclosed on the biggest circle which means that we are going to add Q1 and Q2. Q1 is equal to 4 nanocoulomb while Q2 is equal to negative 6 nanocoulomb. Adding them up will result to negative 2 nanocoulomb over epsilon. And that is all. Thank you for watching.